The gun shown in this tutorial is slightly different because it is select fire. I removed the semi-auto option because it is fairly useless and turned out to be unreliable. It just makes it easier to cut these plates to the right width and then just trace the curved ends. The spring should be a little bit stiffer than a pen spring. First saw out this slot and then chisel it. Use a small square file to smooth it out. Again, this spring should be a bit stiffer than a pen spring. These flutes will make it easier to thread the bolt spring through. Drill this hole as deep as possible without breaking through. This slot needs to house a rubber band. These veneers stop the pins from walking out, which was a problem in the first CRA.
This is where you'll see lots of differences between my CRA and your CRA. Only glue the left plates. The paper ensures that there is a half millimetre gap between the bolt and its housing. This piece of wood emulates a magazine. A20 is well clear of the bolt when the magazine is in place. With the gun and A3 clamped together, you can correctly align the interlocking lugs that hold the back of the top cover in place. The moving parts inside the bolt are sprung with a very small rubber band. You can make one by tying a loop into a size 16 and snipping off the excess. Fit the rubber band into the notch on the sear. Then hook the releaser onto it. These two washers help take up any slop. It's hard to install these parts on camera, but they should look like this. Finally, screw the side plate on. It is easier to install A20 with the bolt in. Remove the bolt once it's installed. is sprung with a single strand of rubber, 
tied in a loop at both ends. It's best to make this from a cut size 19 band, but you can also cut two size 16s and tie them together to make one long strand. To change magazines, remove the empty one and push the bolt forward till it locks. Angle the front of a fresh magazine in and push the back down until it clicks into place. The first rubber band will chamber automatically. Jams can be cleared by pushing the bolt all the way forward and releasing it sharply.